This time I'm going to talk about reading aloud with your child. And I need to throw my husband under the bus here just for a brief minute. When we were first married and he started reading to his little girl when she would come over on the weekends, it was wonderful that he was reading to her. But he didn't have a lot of experience reading aloud. He's not a teacher. He doesn't work with classrooms of kids each day. And quite honestly, sometimes listening to him read out loud was kind of like being on a roller coaster. It almost made you motion sick because he wasn't getting into the story. It was almost like he was reading the story with the goal of getting finished with the story instead of enjoying the story. And I'm thinking that probably a lot of parents out there make the exact same mistake he does. Now, I, I'm happy to say that he's totally reformed his ways. He is an awesome reader now. And whenever he does his bedtime stories with Katie, it is a really, it's so easy to listen to him. And he does such a good job with that because he's kind of reshifted his focus to the purpose being sharing the story instead of finishing the story. So when you're sitting down with your child reading out loud, you need to remember that you're not just going to read through the words as fast as you can in the book. You're going to look at the title. You're going to talk about the pictures. You're going to read a little bit of the story, and you're going to really model those, uh, how the voices of the characters would sound. So maybe Sophie tiptoed into Auntie Claus's apartment. There were many boxes and trunks ready to go. You're going to use your voice to help tell that story because that's going to help your child eventually whenever you're expecting them to read with fluency and prosody. They're going to uh, pick up and they're going to model what you've done. You don't have to just read, 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 and oh, don't talk, don't, we're in the middle of this book here. The purpose is to enjoy that story with your child. So you're going to be snuggled up, you're going to be reading, your voice is going to be making character names and sounds and sound effects. You're going to stop and you're going to talk. What do you think is going to happen next? Oh my gosh, why on earth would she do that? Really get into that story and enjoy it for the story that it is. The goal is love of reading. The goal is not the end of the book.